Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. Slow down. This is the anime checkpoint, and I need to do a vibe temp on what you've been watching now. Let's get this list started. Did you... Did you recently watch Yakusoku no Neverland? The second season? All right. I need hands over here. We gotta lock this one up. Hi, I'm Chelsea Bites, and we're here for our anime vibe check, where we go through some anime that we liked, some anime that we kinda liked, and anime that we should never touch again. If you watched Jujutsu no Kaisen, ReZero, Shingeki no Kyojin, Dr. Stone, and then Tensei Shitori Slime, Beastars, Kumo Desu Ga, those were awesome. And I just, oof. Good list of anime. Let me, let me get it, let me, let me just break it all down. There's a whole list of anime that I love. As much as I love Attack on Titan, honestly, I think the first season came out in like 2013. And if you were there for that, if you watched that first season, you know you had to wait years for the next season to come out. So now here it is, 2021, and we are finally, finally here waiting for the final part to come out next year. So finally, the final precipice is finally upon us as we wait for the final. And yeah, and, and as much as I like to fuss about that anime, I love it. I love it. I, I respect that even if it comes out super late, it comes out well. So I'll, I'll be all mad that I had to wait like years, but it's still good. It's still solid. And of course, we've got Stone Wars. Now, I figured when these two came along that it was it was just not going to be as good. I never liked his friends. Not, not once. I just didn't. But somehow this next season pulled it out and I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It's it's not like so exciting and sometimes I want to call BS on some of this stuff because I'm like how did you have the time to make this in the in the middle of battle? Like how did you make a whole bomb? You, you, you know how this would look if I tried to make a bomb while somebody was trying to beat my ass? Like I don't I don't know. There, there are some things that just didn't seem realistic but it was still enjoyable all the same. And of course we have Slime, all right? And Slime, that last season, it felt like too much good stuff was happening. I was like, okay, I'm kind of bored. Nothing bad's happening. It just feels like everything's going right. He always wins, you know? But this season, they still did that, but they showed some emotion. They showed some true loss. And it, it was just nice to see Slime go all out. Like, I was like, wow, we got a little brutal this season. Oh, oh my God, a Slime can do that? Okay. I'm kind of scared. I don't... I mean, they do warn about gelatinous cubes in D&D, in &D, so I, I guess, you know, that it makes sense. B-stars. Now, I know, I know, if you're from my stream, then you're going to sit here and be like, Chelsea, why are you pushing this furry uh, yaoi on us? Like, how it's wrong with you? And I'm like, no, that's not it. It's emotional. It's a very, very palatable piece of anime. And you need to grow up and, and watch it with me, all right? But it's murder, it's a mystery, it's a drama. And yeah, you know, they get some tender feelings. And, and you'll be surprised to know that that doesn't really happen this season. There's no focus, no true romance focus in this part of this season. It's mostly, it's a lot of blood. Oh my God, it's a lot of fighting, a lot of... And of course, one of my favorites, Kumo Desuga. Now, I had no idea this anime was coming out when it did, and it's still going as this video is being made. It is so good. Go ahead, jump on the train. I didn't know I'd be so interested in a spider. And this, this anime has this cool disjointed storytelling. So you are literally guessing what is going on as you see all this stuff go down. And, and I don't want to tell you like too much because it's a spoiler. So you, you just need to watch it for yourself. But it is very, very cool. Now, of course, that means I gotta go over my eh, anime. You know, they're just anime that you just watch to kind of watch because there's like a light interest in it. Like, I've been watching Boku no Hero, this, this, I think it's the fourth season, and it's okay. It's okay. 
so many things these children can go through. I think they understood that they can't just keep having bad guys busting in on every single event. And and really, these kids need... Well, what is what is up with the school? <laughs> All right, what is up with the UA? Why can't they get proper protection for these kids? Because every time they even stepped outside, if they even breathe, they're instantly getting attacked by a villain. So... I, I just it's just negligence all around I don't know so yeah Boku no Hero has been kind of meh for me so far I mean it hasn't finished pretty sure they're building up to something great that's usually how they do it every season so yeah just kind of keeping the pulse there for now and then Hige Wosuru if you're in a shoujo anime anything like that like something with you know slice of life all that it's been a while since I've watched one, but this one was interesting. It had a very different take from what I'm used to. It, it had some good moral lessons in there, but it's still still not that super exciting. It does have me kind of sitting back being like, now what would I do in this situation? But it's a good time, Pastor. If you have time to waste, check that out. It, it does get a little lewd, and of course, in true fashion, it's always some underage girl who's involved with a much older man, so if you're not into that. Now, I call this Dragon House Hunters, but I know that's not the name for it. I'll list the name down below, but Dragon House Hunters is really cute. It's really cute. It's not something that I'd be like, oh yeah, this is in my top anime list, but it is so cute and it makes me laugh. I think the dragon is super annoying though. Like there's there's a limit. I'm like, all right, you got, come on. Like you're, you're a fucking 20 foot dragon. Like, can you please just burn somebody alive for like a second or just smack them out of the way. But yeah, it, it's it's cute though. As it's, it's, it's wimpy as the dragon is, it's really interesting all the little tidbits they have about house hunting, which is funny because that's what we're doing right now, house hunting. And <laughs> I, I, it kind of triggers me a little bit because I'm like, oh yeah, taxes. Oh yeah, um, ooh, square footage, ooh. <laughs> now, anime that I ju just say no, just don't watch it, okay? If you see Promise Neverland, the last, the second season, just, just leave it alone. I, I watched through the first part of it, just about to the end, and I, it was like watching a slow, car crash I don't know how they drop so much potential and have you ever just had a, a carton of eggs and you tripped and you just watch all of it every single egg just cracks and you're just left and you're like wow I had everything and now there's nothing and that is the second season of Promise Neverland because they managed to crush volumes and volumes of progress into one season. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they did that. Why did you do that? There was no reason. You could have just, just paced it out and not skipped one of the best arcs in the manga and just waited. We, we would have waited forever. Yeah, so clearly, don't just don't just don't you'll you'll just be upset just read the manga i rarely say that but just read the manga read the manga and you'll be a thousand percent happier because i can't the first season was so amazing and then the next season was just the exact opposite i don't know how they did that now of course there are anime that i am extremely looking forward to such as overlord season four i have touted that as one of my top three anime and and if you haven't watched the last three seasons now is the time it's coming out this summer and it is so good so good i i really can't explain it further than this op character has been brought into this new world from a game that he played but the difference is is that the, str the stratagem and just the way he flies off the seat of his pants it's all very very fascinating the world building is so good and if you'd like more about the world and how things kind of overlap, you should definitely read the light novel, but it is brutal. It is smart. It's fun. All of the characters work so well. It's a very refreshing anime. Check it out. It, it's one of my class. I love re- There's so much rewatchability in that anime, and I rarely say that for really many. That you can just rewatch over and over and over again. 
I'm gonna start it back up tonight. Thank you for that. Now, of course, we've got Slime, the second part of season two. I am excited to watch this one this summer because where we left off in that last part was, was a really good point. I hope they keep up the, just the, just how brutal it was. I hope that they learn from that and, and, the, and how Slime and his group evolved they're they're less forgiving and i like to see that more vengeful part of them can we just talk about mushoku tensei for real because it was like watching art they had a different intro every episode i have not seen that before now i'm sure an anime has done it but i personally have not seen it before and the way they draw like bodies and and movement it's like somebody was doing an art study every single episode that anime is so good even if you're not into anime if you're an artist watch that anime at least just watch the intro or whenever they have fight scenes the way they move it looks so real and that's so interesting for an anime right you don't i feel like you don't see that often whenever you see like a woman in anime her chest is huge and then her waist is tiny and then she got them hips but yeah, watch it. Mushoku Tensei will not disappoint. And I can't wait for this living piece of art to come out this summer. A hundred I, it, Okay, let me just say the English version. I'm standing on a million lives. So, <laughs> I feel kind of embarrassed because I did not finish the first season. I started it. It was really interesting. It was. But I dropped it because I have not kept up with my anime list. And hey, if you don't have a my anime list, you are missing out because there are many times where I'll look and be like, what was that anime that I watched? You need to go start on my anime list and you will never lose your anime again. So here, check it out down below. Go make your list, it's free. I just signed it up with my Twitter so it's so easy to tweet my stuff out. But yeah, hop on it. But yeah, so since I didn't have that updated, I missed the first season but it had really interesting mechanics. I think after Overlord and some other anime that came out before it, the isekai genre just blew up. So yes, of course, it's another isekai, but I love isekai, all right? I, I there's just so many flavors of it. I, I really enjoy it. Honestly, I think a lot of what was on this list might have been an isekai, at least three of them <laughs> when I'm thinking about it. I enjoyed it. it. It focuses more on teamwork and working with other people in your world. And, and what was cool was they weren't, they're not stuck in that world. They can go back home and it restarts them where they left off back home. So it's like you pause your life, go into this game, you try not to die, level up, and then you complete the mission and go back home. So. Yeah, nice deal, huh? Just don't die though, like like any other isekai. That was it for our anime vibe check. I just kind of wanted to catch up and see what you guys have been watching just to see what you're interested in in your anime. If you have any better anime to list, <laughs> yeah, right. But if you do, seriously, put it down below and educate me because I'm always trying to expand my library of anime. and. I hope I did the same for you. If you'd like to talk more anime with me, definitely come over to my Twitch or my Discord. We love to talk about anime over there. I'm also here, right here on YouTube. If you're watching, please subscribe. We, we'd love that over here. And I'm also on Twitter if you want more updates on when that next one is coming out or if there's something you'd like me to dive into or ask or talk about, absolutely. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Chelsea Bites and thanks for stopping at this anime vibe checkpoint. I hope you're vibing well. See you soon.